Hey guys, welcome to another review. I'm Mr. P and today I'm doing something that I'm pretty excited about to be perfectly honest with you. What I'm doing today is Nakamichi cotton or Japanese cotton for those of you who are familiar with that term. Um, this is a specific type of cotton, so it's Nakamichi cotton. I got this from SpainCigar.es. Mario sent this down to me very kindly uh, in amongst a big box of stuff that he wanted reviewed. So. Um, Nakamichi cotton, very excited. Heard a lot of hype about Japanese cotton and obviously, you know, want to test it for myself. Um, now, what I've got here is a pack, three packs in fact. Okay. Um, now, these packs have three little sheets inside that you will see in the close up, um, but they have three sheets inside and they come at a cost of four euros. So, in comparison to your cotton wool balls, quite expensive. Um, but we all know how much cotton you use in an atomizer. It's a four euro, you know given the amount of build you're gonna get out of it, could work out to be quite nice, um, depending on how well it performs. I'm gonna read you a little bit of the write-up very quickly. So it says, Nakamichi cotton, organic cotton pads. Uh, Nakamichi 100% Japanese organic cotton. Made from 100% cotton that has not been chemically treated, bleached or pigmented. Raised without the use of cotton fertilizers or pesticides to ensure pure, safe quality. Um, the extra thickness adds a soft cushion yeah, it's superb quality and durability won't fuzz, so it won't fray out or whatever. Um, dark reflection of material are natural and should be expected. These um, colorations are due to cotton seeds in the fine milling process and do not indicate product defects. Um, it says, what's the deal with a question underneath it? Once you've touched the softness and felt the comfort, you will see differences from ordinary cotton. Um, so that's what we've got. What I'm actually going to do very quickly is put this on the table, show you, you know, very, very quickly what, what's in the, in the packs. Um, and then I'm going to stick it into an atty and I'm going to come back and have a little vape and do my best to compare it to standard cotton that we're all used to and let you know if it's actually worth the extra money. Right guys, welcome to the world of Nakamichi cotton or Japanese cotton. Um, as you can see, this is from a Spain cigar. Um, now, differences between these three, obviously, apart from the fact that one's pink, one's green, and one's yellow, um, is the thickness of the cotton itself. So, if I just quickly unbag this and show you um, the thickness, so one, two, and the yellow one is three. Um, I'm going to do my best to get this on camera. The stuff is fluffy as hell and likes to move, um, but. You should be able to see this is the yellow, this is the pink, and this is the green. Um, now, in my opinion, despite the fact it doesn't look like this on camera, the pink is actually the thickest of the three. So it kind of goes in that order, uh, yellow, green, and then pink. Um, so that's what we've got. So what I'm going to do, I'm actually going to use the pink one. Um, you can see I've had a fair bit of this. You actually get three of these in. Um, I'm going to use a pink one and I'm going to sort of show you a bit closer as to what's going on there. Um, but I wanted to show you all three for the purpose of the close up. So if I just seal that back up, chuck the green one back in, and then we have a little go of this pink one. Um, like I say, there's information about it <laughs> if you want to, it's all on the site if you want to have a little look. Um, now, 100% let me see if I can stop this this is white and it's very difficult to stop it glaring so I'm just going to cover the light for a second hopefully you can make that out a bit more but as you can actually see you know you've got the cotton specks in there everything okay so that's kind of what it is there and um, let me back that off and bring it down here in fact what I'll try and do is zoom you in there we go you get a little bit less of that light irritation there um, I will read I will read this again Okay, what it says is made from 100% cotton that has not been chemically treated, bleached or pigmented, raised without the use of chemicals, fertilizers or pesticides to ensure pure, safe quality. The extra thickness adds a soft cushion, yet its superb quality uh, and durability won't fuzz. Darker flax in the material are natural and should be expected. These colorations are due to cotton seeds in the fine milling process and do not indicate product defects. Um, so that's what that is, okay, cotton seeds. Um, now there's several ways you can do this, and I'm going to give I don't know which one away, which one which way I go yet, but we'll we'll see what happens. Um, basically, you kind of got a layer. In fact, the best way for me to show this to you would be to cut a bit off and then start moving it. Um, basically, if I do that, you'll see top and bottom you've got like a thicker layer, 
there's one of them okay and down here if I move all this around there is the other okay so it's kind of like and this inside is pure honestly soft as a baby's behind cotton I don't really need to sort of describe that you can see how sort of loose that is and how soft that is going to be so that says to me you know good wicking potential um, but these two bits here is what makes this a bit difficult to work with because it's a lot more resistant um, as you can see I'm kind of pulling it apart but I wanted to show you that what I'm going to do is back out comes the Zenith after the uh, the bio uh, cotton experience uh, and bring it in now I've seen a couple of different ways of doing this and I think I'm going to try a way that I haven't up to date so what I'll do is I'm just going to literally grab these little UD snippers and cut a length like so like this um, now as you can see it instantly sort of fans out we want to keep that depressed really uh, and then what I'm going to do is something the other half suggested to me which is cut that diagonal like so looks a bit like an aeroplane now um, and try and insert that first because as you start to twist this them two sort of top and bottom surrounds do start to separate it but what I do is look your fingers get this and just twist okay and we're gonna wanna sort of keep the back loose this isn't a tight fitting wick that you're after um, so we've got it really sort of nip tight at one end okay a bit like a concord now um, and then just sort of gently put it through put too much pressure on this you are just going to break it um, in fact there's too much there so what I am going to do make my life even easier still and remove that there and then we're going to go again because we're getting thicker as we go up it's not a problem so there we go definitely lick your fingers though and get this saturated here with a bit of a spit or e-liquid if you prefer to do that um, and then just pull it through like I say we're not after a tight fitting wick so something like that is more than fine you know slightly looser than you'd be used to going on your standard cotton um, I mean this is slightly lower res so I'm going to put it fractionally tighter just because the lower as you go the tighter your wick should be in my opinion but if you're using a standard build you want it loosey goosey so what I'm going to do very quickly is just chop off the spit covered end there no need for that is there and then just sort of reduce that there you don't need loads and loads of this cotton in your um, atomizer you just don't uh, and then I'm gonna grab this and flick her under there like so so we've got a gap uh, and then this back because of how it's designed you can kind of you know you can see what I'm doing fanning it all out that obviously bodes for good wicking that is thick a bit and let's stick around the back like that okay just there and kind of get that to surround the entire deck uh, at the back these thinner bits at the front here similar deal to the opposite side grab that tuck that under this is by far uh, in a way the most effective way I've found to use, use it and also this is a box this is, oh hello this is far from an expert way to use it this is just a plum with a bit of experimentation has found this to be his best way you've got to find yours as well if this doesn't agree with you then keep going you'll see how absorbent this is because I've just, just doused the deck and it pretty much disappears you'll have to forgive the noise in the background this is what happens when you invite knob ends around whilst you record <laughs> um, right. so there you go fully primed but this thing just it just goes and goes and goes and goes and goes and goes and goes you know it's, this is a flavour cotton it really is but I find that this juice in particular is a higher VG and it's 3 milligram works better down low so this would be my standard build for it um, but it's definitely more than capable of chucking up them clouds um, this is actually the build that I reviewed this Zenith on this is actually the build that I tested the bio cotton on and now it's the turn of Japanese cotton um, which order I'll post them and I'm not sure so you may be seeing this on first but you goes to show the others are coming um, so right guys what I'm going to do zoom you back out a fraction um, chuck my top cap on and now I'm coming back up to me and we're going to have a vapor on some Japanese cotton right guys back up to me um, so Nakamichi organic cotton uh, you've just seen it down there uh, what it's like to sort of work with and be with and live with, you know what I mean? 
Um, so really all I want to do is come to me and just sort of have a little wave and see how we compare basically. Um, I did read a while ago, um, you know, a few weeks ago, that someone had said somewhere that uh, it wasn't able to handle, you know, them, them low res builds. Now, I mean, I don't know how low they were going, whether they were going silly super sub ohm or whether they were just going low res, but this is a 0 0.4, 0 0.5 ohm build, and it keeps up like no problem whatsoever. So, I mean, I would say, in fact, that it actually works better than standard cotton in my opinion um, for what I've used it for and the resistances I've been working with which is down to 0 0.3 and up to 0 0.1 or 1.5 um, I found it to wick more consistently and better than my standard organic cotton um, also I found that it doesn't bog down as quickly now I don't know if that's because the fibres are less dense you know it says you get no fuzz I believe I read it out um, but you know it says uh, known for its suburb um, quality and durability won't fuzz basically so I'm, you know it means sort of uh, fray off if you like um, now I'm guessing because it's a lessly denser packed cotton you know there's less bogging down that happens immediately but I've definitely found that the the cotton tends to last longer in my builds it's, it's usually you know sometimes it's a mixture of the cotton and the coil getting bogged up um, with this it's always been the coil so far it's not been the cotton itself causing me to need to change um, for my preference, I mean, I'm the kind of person that will do one tank of a custard and change the entire setup because I'm not happy with how it vapes anymore. I know there are others out there that will vape a setup for months and months and months on end. I'm just not one of them. So, um, I've got that cosmic fog in here, uh, the shocker, which is like a, a lemonade, apple, strawberry, mango um, flavour. And I've actually abused it, a review is coming, but I've abused it, which is why I chose to use it for this. And uh, everyone wants to know whether this produces better flavour, let's face it, that's what you guys are interested in. Um, and the simple answer to that question is yes. Um, it most definitely does give you a better flavour. In my opinion, better. It might not be in yours, but in my opinion, it's definitely a better flavour. I've tried it with a few juices, and every one has yielded the same results increased flavour now it's not like with certain materials you know if you're using silica and then you went on to eco wool you kind of the flavour was comparable if you ask me but you taste different notes with you know eco wool or silica um, with this I find it the same flavour I just get more of it there's more to the flavour um, so I mean yeah to answer the question yes I do believe that this does provide you a better flavour than cotton um, or standalone organic cotton balls, if you like. How much better? It's hard to gauge, you know, it's hard to impart how much better I think it is. I definitely think it's better. I definitely think, you know, your juices will taste better to you. Um, I would say this is about 10 to 15% better tasting, in my opinion, if I was to put a percentage on it. Uh, but to be honest with you, and this is where you've got to weigh up your comparisons, you know. It costs substantially more than organic cotton balls cost. Now, I mean, I work in sterling, so four euro for free, free, you know, them little sheets. So it's about one pound ten a sheet. Um, it's it's costly in comparison to you know you get two big bags full of organic cotton balls for like three quid, and I could buy two of those bags, give one away to someone else and then give half of mine away and still be vaping for at least a year um, on it uh, so it's whether it, it really stacks up now like I say some people have been pulling them thicker ones apart and breaking them into two it's almost like you've got two sheets um, now obviously that does double the amount that you can use it for but truthfully I will rip through this cotton a hell of a lot quicker than I'm ever going to rip through my organic cotton balls so you need to weigh that up in your equations. Now, don't get me wrong, the cost is not substantial. Um, the difference is substantial if you break it into percentages and the amount you're going to get out of it. But the cost itself is not substantial. You know, three quid, and let's face it, it's cotton, and you could probably get, depending on your wicks and what you're doing, and if you're trying to use the bare minimum, 
you probably get a good 50 wicks out of each sheet so 150 wicks is still costing you pennies per coil if that but there is a cost difference there uh, and if you are someone who likes to you know not spend more than they have to that's something you might want to consider another thing you may want to consider as well is using it and working with it this is again more more difficult than your standard cotton would be it's there's a learning curve involved with it in comparison to standard cotton you think because you've used standard cotton you can just pick this up and immediately know how to do it you know how to do it and what to do with it it's not the same as cotton to twist it doesn't always work the same the amount of cotton you want in a coil isn't necessarily exactly the same either so you need to bear that in mind there is a learning curve and it is more difficult to work with um, doesn't work with low res my arse um, truth be told in my opinion it's worth it all day long it's worth it the flavour is what this is about. If you're using a rebuildable atomizer, whether it be a Zenith clone, or whether it be a K fan, or whether it be whatever it is you're using, if you're using a rebuildable atomizer, chances are you want to get some flavour out of the equation. Um, if you're using a good juice, you know, if you're paying 15, 20 quid for a bottle of juice, you want to make that juice taste as good as you possibly can. Um, and if that requires two minutes more build time and it requires a few more pence spent on the wick, it's a sacrifice worth making, um, in my opinion. So definitely if you are one of them people then then for sure go and get some and give it a go and see if you believe it to be a better performing wicking material um you know if you're one of them guys that just likes to sort of get things done you're not particularly worried about the juice you're using or you know just chucking together some variable diy stuff because that's what's getting you through um then you may not appreciate this as much uh and then is this is this specific part of vaping where you want to be spending more money that's on you um but definitely there's an increased flavour, there's definitely an increased capability for wicking if it's set up correctly, not too, not too packed in that coil. Um, and there is, it, there seems to be a good amount of retention in this cotton as well. You know, it seems to hold a fair bit of juice. All I will say though, is do not dry hit this. Like, not even close to dry hit. If you could get a husky drip or dry pull your tank or do something because for some reason obviously still being organic cotton but in this form the taste off of it is atrocious like <laughs> coughing your lungs up for a decent amount of time atrocious um, and the flavour really isn't you know not burnt cotton's not a nice flavour either but it's different and I don't know if it's I've become used to getting a slightly burnt taste of cotton because I've cocked up here and there or whether it is in fact that the cotton tastes better despite the fact they're both being burnt because the, the flavour of this when it's burnt is by far and away the worst flavour of a wicking material with exception of mesh um, when being burnt or applied power when dry um, so bear that in mind but it, it beats cotton guys it does definitely beat cotton and it's definitely an improved flavour and it's well worth the money and the time and effort in my opinion so that's kind of what you wanted to know and there you go um, I will compare this to the bio wick that um, Spain cigar sent down to me as well purely because they're both there so I'm interested as most of you may be um, to, to see which is best uh, so that review will be coming but other than that guys that's pretty much all I've got for you thank you very much for watching I've been Mr P and I shall see you soon mm -hmm.